lot of sting playing in our show today. Mm. Like, as we Great. were going in and out of commercials, we had some sting music. I like it. This is I outnumbered overtime. Oh, chief, baby. And if you look on the live chat, people are already talking, and there's one thing. Look at all these different people. Yes, they're uh, real, guys. Actually, and <laughs> this is the one that I like the best on topic. J.B. Falconer. Hmm. Mm. says, what is it with you guys and Katie's height? There are like 10 people asking how tall you are because you said ah. that you wouldn't date a short guy. <laughs> how tall are you? I didn't say I would, did not date a short guy. I said that short guys are intimidated by me yeah. oh, okay. because they're not into tall women, which I, it's fine. There's a lot of short guys who don't like tall women. So, you know what I call men 5'11 and under? You know what I call men 5'11 I like men who come in all different packages. Wow. The same. I can't believe I just said it that way. Yeah, but I, with shoes on. Katie, Woo! The, the live show. chat's on fire Sorry. now! Sorry. <laughs> oh, you asked the do question. not send your packages. Uh, we're on the chat. internet now. <laughs> no, but no I want to know, Andrea, you just said... I was going to say, Katie's got a bumper sticker on her car. It says, you know what I call guys 5'11 and under? Friends. Oh. <laughs> is that not your bumper sticker? Uh, I'm just. Oh, that's funny. That is funny though. That's pretty good. People oh, don't have a wow, sense of humor on Twitter. They don't. They don't. It's on fire. But they, the, but they also have ones that say, "I don't." I call women who are five nine and above friends. So it goes what? both ways. But hold on, yes, can I ask a question? So I, so like hold on a second. Water. So I posted this, and I want to see what you guys think about this. This mm -hmm. is a good Valentine's Day um, topic. So I posted this on Twitter. Some people thought it was hilarious. Other people were like, "You're wrong." I'm not like that. I'm okay. unfollowing you. On the left, men are like Bluetooth. He's connected to you when you're nearby, but searches for other devices when you're away. <laughs> Women are like Wi-Fi. She sees all available devices, but connects to the strongest one. Oh. Wow. True. Pretty good. Or false, Hobnob. Why would you ask me that question? <laughs> um, devices? I, I, devices? I, I kind of, I got, I kind of, unfortunately, have to agree with that. I mean, that's a pretty. Good you way don't disagree. To put it. I'm sure I don't disagree. <laughs> um, I don't know if I want to put myself in the Bluetooth category per se, but I think on a whole, it's just a general, in general, who, who, it's, ha, it's ha. not a bad way to kind of kind of break it up. But I, can I ask a question because this what? is actually fascinating. So we, we're talking about <laughs> Katie. We, we, we're, we're talking about Katie uh, and whether or not she would date short men. What would do women think? when they see a short man with a tall woman. What do you think about that guy? Do you say, Lucky. good for him? I'm not going to say, say it. he's awesome? Do you say, he's overcompensating? He's got a like what? He can breathe through his ears? I don't know. No, I'm, I'm just wondering. It's, it's kind of curious because we're talking about this whole dynamic. <laughs> what do and I, I mean? Not I mean, as somebody who's tall like Katie, I mean, I, I You're tall. Take for that. Yeah, I am. I, and I, and I, I am 6'2", <laughs> by the way, just in case Candace anyone was wondering. Tall? Um, Kennedy's being nasty, so. I'm not being nasty at all. I was oh. being, I was stating the obvious, and there's a difference. I was actually being very clean. Oh. Thank you. So anyone okay, want we'll to answer that? So the um, snowstorm <laughs> that we keep hearing about. <laughs> no, Two I mean, inches, four, you see, you nine see <laughs> degrees. Oh burn. my gosh. It's contagious. <laughs> so you see a tall guy with a, a short guy with a tall woman? Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't really. There's think someone for everybody. No, that's I think what I think. Do you, she's do you doing profile something. that guy. She's doing something that I wouldn't do okay. because I'm really self-conscious. You have a tall, tall husband, and you guys I do. Match My husband's perfectly. six foot four, and I married wow. him because he makes me look small and demure. Oh. <laughs> no. but that's the thing. Like, as a woman, I'm you don't want to feel like you're height, the mm -hmm. bigger half. Wait, wait, wait. You're, you are. You were saying? Yeah, I am. I mean, I always have been because I've been this height since I was like nine. Wow. Yeah, and wow. I've always had this voice too. So I think I just you sort have of great voice. Have a not as you're, you're a camera old. ready. Thank you. Great voice. I mean, it's it's yeah. scary when you're a kid and you sound like this. You know, <laughs> WNBA and that tall. Night. And, so I think I I kind of grew up with this complex of like all the cute guys are shorter, but they never really wanted to talk to me until they got taller. They're lost. I was no, five feet tall when I got in high be, school. Well, really? Yeah. Because oh you're cause, not five feet tall now. No. No, you, you grew. Congratulations. So, hey. you know, <laughs> I do want to say Nob, this because, hobby? because hobby, <laughs> hobby, no hobby, hobby. Lobby. so, you know, here's here's why I'm asking the question. So if I'm a, if as a guy and this is a conversation we have very often, oh, we'll God. see a guy who's <laughs> not as good looking. Mm -hmm. as the woman he is with. Yes. Uh -huh. And we will draw oh. conclusions, right or wrong, mm -hmm. Money. Yeah. Um, you know, into well, yeah. why that's, that's that, the first thing into I think. why yeah. that's the Women case. Women don't want to be in relationships with people who are prettier than them. They want to be really? the pretty part of the relationship. I think. Ooh, I like that. I mean, they want to be the one who's, mm -hmm. you know, Say that the again. prettier version. Women want to be the prettier side of the relationship. Dave and I, I, mean, I think it makes sense that a woman would date someone who maybe isn't Ken because then she's the one on display and she doesn't have to worry so much about him going and being Bluetooth, you know? <laughs> yeah, but an, an old That's Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Like, Bluetooth. Dave and I were at a, a really nice brunch this weekend and we were giggling like school children because there was this clearly older, wealthy gentleman in the corner with a woman who looked like she was about 
19. And it was like, oh, grandpa's going to give you a little extra slab of bacon. <laughs> we were just like, it's so obvious that it was an arrangement. But you know what? You never see the reverse, or rarely, I would say. How often do you see um, a really hot younger guy with a much older grandma? Not, a, not often. Yeah, enough. not often. Uh, not often? Not often enough. Okay. Yeah, not often you enough. You guys take a photo and send it to the Tanteros Institute. <laughs> <laughs> what? You, you think it never happens? Uh, it okay. happens in West L.A. You so wait, 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 wait. I, and I'm not talking. I'm not talking Tom Cruise and whatever her name in Mimi working. Mimi Rogers. Mimi Rogers or what, what, in Cocktail. Who was the one doing the aerobics? Remember she bought his suits? She had a hard body. Oh, yeah. yeah. Remember? I remember that. And that's what I'm not talking about. I'm not talking Cougar. I am talking Walker, wheelchair. Like octogenarians. Ye thank you. Okay, there you go. Kind of like Nicola Ann Smith. I mean, that's and, a fetish, though. That's not, a, that's not a cultural But you fetish. see old men, but you do see older men with really, like you were talking about, that huge age difference. You don't see the huge age difference. We're actually the other way around. You know, if we're going to get back to evolutionary biology, right. genetically predisposed to do that. Because, you know, a, a younger woman sends out signals that, that she will be reproductively successful. Mm -hmm. And an older man says, I have already secured resources. So come on over to the, uh, to the Corvette. <laughs> Wow. Oh. You might need a bigger car. Wow. No, we learned all that. I mean, that's <laughs> Katie. What is the Corvette? Katie says you're going to need a bigger car. It's, it's code for so many things. Oh, Bob you guys knows. are too much. Maybe. I think oh we should gosh. change the subject. Um, yeah, <laughs> Elizabeth Smith question. 55 says not too many cougars. Actually, she didn't spell it that way. Maybe this has a different Because meaning. Elizabeth 55 knows what's up. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't. I, when I see people, I just hope that they find love. And whatever reason they're together, great. Just make the world a better There's place. There's someone Amen. for everybody. It's beautiful. No? It makes right. the world a better place. Because there are so many people who have no one, and then there are so many people who are with people that they shouldn't be. I don't know. I feel bad for That's Demi Moore. Because I think about the relationship she had with Ashton Kutcher, and she really loved him, and he broke her heart. Who was this? Demi Moore? Yes. Oh, he seems yeah. really happy now, though. Did yeah. you see that baby? Of course, he's thrilled. Yeah. They've got a cute baby, and he's got the woman he's probably in love with all along. But I'm getting into all the trouble, though. Demi Moore had Bruce Willis. She had kids. She had a great into? life with him. Yeah, because Ashton and, and Mila, is, it, is that how yeah. you say oh, it? Uh, they're prescribing their way of child rearing now, saying that, you know, we don't want a nanny. We, we don't want to outsource our whatever. Outsource. And it's kind of mommy shaming. That's yeah, what they're don't, don't yeah. do that. When you've got seventy-five million dollars, well, they can do what they want to do. But just don't tell yeah. everybody else that they're wrong. Don't tell me because you've got a nutritionist, you've got a life coach, you've got like seven hundred people helping you out do the stuff that that other parents have to do. So it's not the same thing. Eat it. Do you think that Demi Moore though <laughs> brought sure. a little bit of the hurt on herself because she knew that he was younger and he wanted a family and she was older and to me i was like oh that when they started dating i'm like she's gonna get her heart before disaster oh. yeah it, it, it was well, sad and it was like a slow tragic I, like I it seems like madonna knows that these young yeah. backup dancers she's dating j-lo J -Lo. Are, are not J -Lo has, yeah. yeah well she uh, claimed she didn't know casper smart was <laughs> gaining weight <laughs> um look what bob found it's quite heavy this is name he says every day who walks in front of the camera every show is that patch no, that was, uh, I think that was one of the other camera operators. Actually. That's so funny. Um, oh. Elizabeth. But for the record, Jared did not. Jared did not. He stopped himself before he walked in front of camera six. Good job, Jared. <laughs> Tell him it's the phantom Good of the outnumbered. Yeah. It's Wait all about chemistry, communication, compassion, and compromise. Cinder's gremlin. I like that. Mm. Yeah. It's largely true. Yeah. Don't people forget right. about marriage, though, that marriage is a commitment, not about, it's about a commitment to another human being and being there for them. As, you know, it's not about romance and the fairy tale all the time. I mean, I think people forget what marriage no, is. No, we are obsessed with the notion of yeah. romantic love and in I this think country, and, and we, we don't invest in the idea true. of a partnership. Right, exactly. And that's why people get, you know, so horribly disappointed. But when you go into it as a partnership and then you realize, like, baby, we got great romantic chemistry, that's how you do it. Wow. Um, I know you Hear love Ashton Art, so this one's Mike. for you. What? Uh, what did Demi expect? Ashton was bound to see her as getting old, and Hollywood knows oh, no commitment. Estenard is smelling what I'm stepping in. <laughs> she's, pi she's picking up what you're putting down. He's picking up what I'm putting down. Just the minute we have left says, I want to talk about the cheater baseball story. So real quickly, okay. I, I thought that, and I saw a lot flying by on that, too. I thought it was really interesting what people were saying that, um, and I read one during the TV version of us about the other teams and how they were really cheated in this whole thing, too, because mm -hmm. if they allowed this Little League championship team to hang on to their title, then what does that say about everybody else who had to go up against them when they were cheated? Yeah, I mean, look, it, it's very <laughs> tempting know. to only think about this one team that lost the title, 
Exactly. What about these other kids who made the same type of effort, who worked right. just as hard, who were disappointed when they lost, but now because of the circumstances, okay, for the record, might find I'm still winning. glad that Reggie Bush had to give up his Heisman. Okay. Ooh, Ooh thank there. You. Thank you. Ooh, there. Thank you. Wow, did wow. you hear that? That was the mic hitting the floor. Again. She picked it up <laughs> and dropped it again. Picked it up and dropped it again. <laughs> In oh, case you missed it. Picked it up and dropped it again. <laughs> Thud. I think it's a dance move. It's like the the bend the bend app, <laughs> the pick and drop. <laughs> what movie was that from? <laughs> Legally uh, Blonde. Blonde. Legally, Legally Blonde. Blonde. I can't believe I admitted I just saw that. Okay, good. We are out of here. TV version of us tomorrow noon Eastern. Be there. See ya.